entrance of your word, give light and understanding to the simple. As we behold your word this morning, give us light. By your light, give us light. Lord, we bless you. Father, we bless you. Ancient of days, we bless you. The bright morning star, we adore you. Who is like unto thee, O God? Among the gods, there is no one like you. For you have been from the beginning. Lord, we bless you. The God of the ages past is our God. Holy Spirit, we adore you. We welcome you into this place. The Spirit of truth, we welcome you. Shine your light into our light, into our hearts. Shine your light into our hearts. Let the word of God give us direction. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' holy name, we are praying. Amen. Do you know that Jesus not come who will still be under the law and the cause of the law. Had Jesus not come, who will still be under the law today and under the cause of the law. But most importantly, had Jesus not died on the cross, we all will still be condemned and dead in our sins. Had Jesus not died on the cross and sacrificed his life to free us from sin, dominion, you and I and everyone else in the world would not have been made free from sin today. So we owe it all to him. Do you know? This, is, this was why he said in John 16, 7, Jesus said, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. Remember? For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. For if I depart, I will send him to you. The helper is the Holy Spirit, who is also called the comforter. It was a comforter. And another Bible translation calling the advocate. In fact, the amplified translation of the Bible went further in the apologies he gave to the Holy Spirit. In the same verse says, but I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper Comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, strengthener, standby will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him, the Holy Spirit, to you to be in close fellowship with you. 
How many people are enjoying that close fellowship? Hallelujah. So today's message is actually the continuation of last week. It is to your advantage, part two. It is to your advantage, part two. Yes, had Jesus not departed from the world because of his death, the Holy Spirit would not have been here with us. Another comforter. He will not have been here. How many people know that the Holy Spirit is with us today in close fellowship? He's here right now. <laughs> Do you know? The primary reason why it is to your advantage, the word of Jesus about the Holy Spirit and about him departing, our advantage why Jesus had to leave. What is your advantage that he has to leave? The primary reason why is to our advantage is because his death was our victory from sin. Hallelujah. His death was our victory from sin. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 2, 1 John chapter 2, verse 2, from the New King James Version of the Bible, it reads, and he himself, talking about Jesus, he himself, is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the whole world. The word propitiation is sacrifice. Jesus himself is the sacrifice for our sins. And that was why he said it is to your advantage. The primary reason for saying it is to your advantage that I leave. One translation of the Bible of the same verse reads like this. He himself is the sacrifice that atones for our sins. Please pay attention to that continuous tense. The sacrifice that atones for our sins. Today, Jesus is still atoning for anyone that will come to him. He still atones for our sins because according to the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 10. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 10. We have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Everybody say once for all. We have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The New Living Translation of the same verse went further. It reads, once for all time. Hallelujah. <laughs> the body of Jesus was offered to us as an atoning sacrifice once for all time. And that is very important. Because it is to anyone's advantage and everyone's advantage that comes to Jesus because Jesus leaving us, leaving the world because of his death and resurrection was actually a victory for us, victory from sin. 
And that is how the atoning sacrifice kicks in once for all time. And it's very important once for all time because you and I don't need to top it up. Amen? We don't need to top up the sacrifice because many people are still topping up today because they want to be free from sin. And that is why it is to our advantage that Jesus had to leave. Because in verse 4, tells us why you don't need to top it up. Look at it, verse 4. For it's not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. What is the synonym for impossible? What is the synonym for impossible? Impossible. Amen? It's impossible. It says there, the blood of bulls and goats, it's impossible for those blood to take away the sins. Now, the question is, if the blood of bulls and goats cannot take away sins, why are some still doing it today? Why are some people still offering sacrifice through the healing of bulls and goats? Ignorance. It's because they don't know. The devil is now taking advantage of their ignorance. They don't know the truth. Have you been there before? When you don't, you do not know the truth. It's a dark place. It's a bondage. You don't even know what to do. You don't know where to go. You cannot see the light. You want to come out, but you don't know how. Am I talking to somebody? It's a bondage. What I've come to tell you today, look no further. Because today is a day of salvation. Jesus said, but I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper, everybody say helper, comforter, advocate, intercessor, counselor, Sentinel, standby, will not come to you. Is it not to your advantage? It means what it says. It is to your advantage because Christ has actually redeemed us. He has paid the price for our freedom. That is why we are free from sin. And that blood of Jesus was not in vain. It's still atoning us today from sin. And that's why Jesus Christ came to this world and showed us the way. Because he himself is the way. Because he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one, <laughs> I love that, no one goes to the Father except through me. So you don't have to live here the same because there is help for you. Amen? Turn somebody and say there is help. That is the truth. In Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 to 30, Matthew, 20, Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 to 30, it's nice to see you, brother, brother Inka. How are you doing? Amen. When Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him, crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, do you believe that I am able to do this? 
They said to him, yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, according to your faith, let it be to you. Another translation reads, because of your faith, it will happen. Next verse. Then their eyes were opened and they could see. That has not changed. It's still true today. Because of your faith, it will happen. So you don't have to live the way you came, brothers and sisters. But those listening also via the social media, do you believe that Jesus can help you in that situation? Remember, the blood is still atoning today. Do you believe that Jesus can deliver you from that addiction? Do you believe he can free you from whatever has held you in bondage? It will happen because of your faith. So it is to your advantage. It is to your advantage. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Amen? Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. You see, the law itself brought bondage to some people. Why? Because for the lawbreakers, they come under the curse of the law. So Jesus, by coming and departing from this world because of his death, his death was actually a victory for you, for me, because he has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So don't say there's a curse that runs in my family. Including that one, he has redeemed you. Amen? Uh, it runs in my family, this sort of thing. At 40 years old, every woman in that family will experience this. There's a pattern. There's a trend. For you are a child of God. But the Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Because for the lawbreakers, they come under the curse. For Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. He might run in your family, but when it comes to you, you are exempted. Hallelujah. I thought that should, be, that should make somebody excited. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. How? Having become a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. The tree they are being cross. Jesus hung on the cross, didn't he? And that's how he became a curse for us. So don't live here today knowing that if you come to Jesus, you have been redeemed from the curse of the law. Don't live here today and still say that, ah, I'm afraid to get to that age because everyone that gets to that age, so, so, so things happen to them. This is why Jesus said, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. Did you see now? It is to your advantage. It was if it was not true, he would not have said so. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Amen? If the son makes you free, makes you, he's still going to make you, and he will make you. Amen? If the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. 
John chapter 8, verse 36. This is true. This is true for everyone that will come to Jesus. For everyone that wants Jesus to save them, they will never leave the same. He asked those two blind men, do you believe I can help you? Yes, we do. You can help us, Jesus Christ said, be done unto you according to your faith. And they touched their eyes and they, they received their sight. So if you might be out there wondering, is this applicable to me? Is it applicable to you? Yes. Problem is problem. There is no other synonym for it. It's a problem. And Jesus is a problem solver. And yours included, he will solve your problem. Amen. If you come to him. Do you want to be free? That's the question. You want to be free from those things that make you to wet the bed. Do you believe that Jesus can make you free? Do you know? Before Christ died on the cross, it was not possible to be free for anyone to be free from sin. Do you know? Because it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats will take away sin. But now, everyone say, but now. but now. There is, therefore, now, no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Romans chapter 8. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free Ooh. from the law of sin and death. Verses 1 and 2. Oh, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Yeah, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Oh, yeah, there is therefore and no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! Praise God. Do you believe that? Uh, only in Christ can you have life. Only in Christ. The law of the spirit of life is where? In Christ Jesus. That is why it is to your advantage what he said. And he has made us free from the law of sin and death. From the law of sin and death. Is that not your advantage? It is to your advantage. Do you know, under the laws of God in the Old Testament, under the laws of God, it was not possible to keep the whole law of God. Do you know? And that was why they kept sacrificing to top it up so that they can be approved by God. But the best of men is still a man. Because it was not possible for them not to break the law. Even today, as a parent, you told your children, not to tell lies. For you yourself, tell lies. 
lies upon lies. Are you not a lawbreaker? So the same way it was not possible for you to keep to what you have told others to do, you keep breaking it. That was the same pattern with you, what it used to be in the old covenant. Because if you told people not to do something, but you are secretly doing it, are you not a lawbreaker? You are. James chapter 2. James chapter 2. Let's read verses 10 to 11. James chapter 2, verses 10 to 11. For whoever shall keep the whole law and yet stumble in one point is guilty of all. For he who said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not murder. That was what the law says. Now, if you do not commit adultery or you do murder, you have become a what? Transgressor of the law. Next verse. That's verses 10 to 11. Pardon me. So this was why Jesus, what he meant when he said, it is your advantage that I go away. Jesus, to the glory of God, has come. His death was the atoning sacrifice that delivered us from the curse of the Lord. Hallelujah. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Galatians chapter 3, verse 10. Because if you break one, you are guilty of every, everything. And so, everyone was under the curse of the law. But thank God, Jesus is death was the atoning sacrifice that freed us from the curse of the law. Amen? Is that not to our advantage? And that is why you are free from any curse that either to run in your family. If you are in Christ Jesus. Because if you broke one, you are broken all. And so, it's impossible not to break one. So it is to our advantage that Jesus, what he did and what he said. And this was what he meant when he said, it's to your advantage that I go away. Only in Christ there is freedom. Amen? Yeah. You might be wondering, how can I come out of this Problem. How can I come up, come out of this? It's like going around and around in a circle. But don't look for any further. I brought you a way to come out of it. Only in Christ Jesus can you come out of it. If you are ready, you will come out of it. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. <laughs> Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, where must you be in Christ? Because only in Christ can you find life. If anyone, including you, that you are listening, if anyone is in Christ, so what you need to do to come to Christ because it is written, whoever come to me, I shall in no way cast away. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, a new creation. All things have passed away. You are the one that can make it work. The old 
things. If you come to him, that will be the beginning of a new thing. And the whole things preceding those new things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Only you can make that decision. This round and round in the sun needs to stop. Where does the box stop? It stop right here. If you are ready, let's take this up. Let's take it to the Lord. Make that decision to be a free person from whatever has been running in your life. Whatever has been affecting your sleep. Whatever has been making you not to sleep properly. Whatever those things that happens every time you close your eyes. In fact, you prefer not to shut your eyes at all. Please bow down your head. Let us pray. Make a decision to be free. All you need is to ask. Ask God to forgive you and show you mercy. Mercy over judgment. Whoever you are, it doesn't matter what you have done before. So long you acknowledge your wrong, so long you admit your fault, so long you want a you, you have the desire to have a clean record. I'm talking to you. Ask God to forgive you and show you mercy. Go on to ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Ask him, save me from this addiction. Drugs, sex, gambling. Just make those addictions, the things that you cannot but do. Ask him. It is sin. Ask him to deliver you from it. Whatever things you want to be free from, you know it. I may not know it, but you know it. God knows it. Even the devil knows those things. If I were you, I would make that decision right now. I want to break free. I want to break free. I want to break free. Please ask him to break you free from me. Because the blood of Jesus is still at home. Still at home today. Let the blood of Jesus atone for your sin. Therefore, it is to your advantage. Some are not praying. Some are just looking around as if they don't know what we're talking about. Don't live here the same. Pray for your children. Pray for your children that have not yet known the Lord. They told you some of the problems they are going through. And you know those problems. Those problems are spiritual problems. Those problems are spiritual. Those problems have a spiritual root. And only God can help them. That is why you must pray for them that their hearts will be won over by God. Please pray for them. That the light of the knowledge of the glory of God, the light of the knowledge of the glory of God will shine into their heart. Pray that God should save your household, save your children. Mention them by name. That God would save them. God would deliver them. God will save them and give them freedom from that thing. Pray for them. Jesus said, whoever come to me, I will know why it's cast away. Jehovah, help my family. Help my children. Help my household. And the light of God will shine into their heart. That their names will be written in the book of life. Show them your mercy, O God. Show them your mercy. 
Let their family be settled. Let them enjoy their own family. Give them the fruit of the womb. Let them not experience the problem that I as a parent or parents have experienced. Because Jesus has delivered them, has redeemed them from the curse of the law. Remove every curse from my household through Jesus. And the only way Jesus can do that is bring your family to Christ. Ask them to make Jesus their Lord and Savior. It is to your advantage. Indeed, it is to your advantage. Lord will bless you. If you make that your prayer, begin to welcome him into your heart right now. Ask him to take away every stony heart from you and give you a new heart. Let him create a new heart in you right now. Let him come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. You want to enjoy the freedom that comes through Christ. Ask him to write your name in the book of life. Let the new journey begin now. It will make all things new for you. Ask him to walk you through that newness of life. Help me, O oh God. Here I am. Help me. Here I am. Help me. As a man loves somebody. Here I am. Help me. Ask him to help you. Ask him to help you out of that trouble. This is the last Sunday of the month. He said, better is the end of the thing than the beginning thereof. You know you can experience newness. You know you can experience newness. Ask him. Help me, O oh God. What you have promised, help me to experience it. I welcome you to my heart. I welcome you to my home. I welcome you to my family. I want to begin anew. Help us to express you in our lives. Lord bless you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' holy and anointed name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's clap those hands together for the Lord. Amen. 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 Lord will bless you. Lord will bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Lord will give you praise. Lord will give you praise.